The Galaxy S24 Ultra has Samsung in a frenzy. In the S24 Ultra, there will be some incredible improvements. At least in the European market, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will have the Exynos 2400 in every single unit. When compared to Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, the single-core score is lower, while the multi-core score is around the same or slightly lower. When we discuss the GPU, it is still marginally inferior or equivalent, but the GPU in the Exynos 2400 has a quite high power consumption. For Exynos users, this was their worst fear. It seems that the Exynos 2400 will continue the trend of Exynos poor power efficiency. Additionally, the Exynos 2400 is likely to have some sort of heating problem. But there is some sort of amazing news coming for the S24 Ultra, so let's hope Samsung fixes this problem before the launch, or else you need to look at other possibilities. No matter the area, the 24 Ultra is expected to have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, claims a reliable source. He noted that the decision on whether the lowest model, the S24, would feature the Exynos 2400 processor or the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor is still up for debate. For those considering to purchase the S24 Ultra, any option will be a fantastic choice. A huge 2TB of storage will now be available on the S24 Ultra, which is another new feature we will see. Additionally, the 256GB version will have 12GB of RAM rather than only 8. Apart from a new CPU, Samsung will also utilize a new 200 megapixel sensor in the S24 Ultra. The S23 Ultra featured a new 200 megapixel ISO cell HP2 sensor, while the S24 Ultra will employ an improved version of the HP2 sensor. We will also show a brand new telephoto sensor with a staggering 15 megapixel 3x optical zoom. The S24 Ultra's upgraded CPU also makes it possible to record 8K footage at 60 frames per second as opposed to the S23 Ultra's 30 frames per second. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.